Hello viewers, I'm Kajol and you're watching Tech Passport and today I'm going to talk about remote desktop. Um, when you connect another uh, PC for your customer support or your personal uh, needs, then uh, you uh, want to be connected with a VIA software or uh, if you have direct uh, uh, real IP, then you can connect with your PC with Windows Remote Desktop. But everybody have uh, everybody don't have uh, the real IP, so they want to be a um, uh, connectivity software for um, uh, middle middleman as a middleman. So um, basically, we all we all are using TeamViewer for uh, the uh, connecting each, uh, one of the one PC to another PC connect with remote support and uh, nowadays we are also use the AnyDeck software but today I'm going to uh, show you another alternative software it's called AnyViewer and uh, I am uh, showing you how to use the AnyViewer how to download and the all features of AnyViewer so let's go to hit the AnyViewer so at first I am going to uh, my VMware for installing the AnyViewer. At first you are going to um, uh, write your uh, uh, browser uh, any v i w e uh, sorry AnyViewer. <laughs> Uh, here you can uh, just uh, search with your uh, um, search engine any viewer and you, uh, you can get this type of uh, the search result and you can just simply click the any viewer and you uh, you can see this uh, uh, the website for the uh, uh, software and you can see here um, the starting remote desktop software for Windows uh, that's basically not only Windows it's available for iOS and Android also so at uh, at first you want to download this uh, freeware software here you can here you click download and you can see here the uh, file size is uh, 39.07 MB I am already download and uh, I am show you how to download just click and download start here you can see here the download already uh, just uh, a few seconds and here you just click open file and then start install the uh, basic uh, installation um, uh, menu and you can see here the installation just click install and is uh, 2k uh, 3 or 4 seconds for installation and here you can see enjoy now click the enjoy now and close the browser uh, viewers you can see here uh, you can see here I am uh, sure I am uh, connected to VMR uh, for you show you how to connect one PC to another PC with this software so I am already connect I am already installed another PC uh, with this software and uh, I'm logging also here with this software uh, you can uh, if you want to create a um, uh, here is the option with create an uh, account for you can see here I'm already create an account uh, for uh, you can if you create an account then you can uh, easily assign 1 to 10 PC for permanent access so uh, now we are going to connect so how to connect you can see here the uh, uh, two options here I am show you the two options here you can see here the two PC and I am going to connect one uh, one to uh, another so you can see here the device ID at first we are copy the device ID so I am uh, just enlarge the window for seeing another PC so I am going to connect so sorry here 947541 947541 947541 uh, 440 if you, when I am click the connect another PC there is two option one of the uh, temporary password and one of the accept if you are uh, if your support uh, support uh, the system have any um, physical person then you connect uh, click the connect and this is an offline ID does not exit sorry maybe I am uh, wrong type 947 okay uh, connect click the connect then here you can see the two options here here you can see I am show you here is two options here send request to your partner input the security code two option you can connect the remote desktop here is uh, you can see here here is the uh, request uh, if coming coming the request uh, or accept I am accept okay then I am going to click, uh, click send the partner request 
okay click the partner request then you can see here the request is incoming here the request is incoming here here you can see the request is incoming here if I am allowed if I am going to allow or your support remote support or your client allow then you can access easily one PC to another PC you can see here one PC to another PC you can access uh, is very easily you can see here the uh, remote desktop connection is uh, started you can see here the PC I am using uh, from the remote desktop uh, you can see here the remote PC here is the remote PC and you can see uh, here is you can see the um, uh, we are connected with any viewer okay then we are going to fully scan and show you the options here is the adaptive and original if you are click the adaptive then change the skin resolution and here is the skin resolution option here is the best choice automatically set up the skin resolution and here is the mode here you can see the high quality balanced and high speed high quality uh, is all on only for the pro if you purchase the software you can uh, use the high quality and here you and also you can use the chat option you, if you if I click the high then the remote PC have the notification with this high and the uh, other side uh, the um, people are your re client reply with this chat okay then close and the files if you work access with files then both computer have to log in with um, a user id then you can access with uh, this computer and send the file uh, i will show you how to send the file okay and then i am going to home and then i am going to picture then save picture okay no picture and no camera roll no nothing here so what can i send first after uh, you can see here after done your work then you can minimize your remote pc from here you can see here the uh, this taskbar and you can minimize this uh, minimize from it here okay now i'm going to the uh, second pc and show you the about this uh, uh, software okay and click here the any viewer and you can see about uh, i'm just talking about its features and prices so if you're going to buy it uh, then you can see here the click prices then you can the difference between pre version and professional version here you can buy here you can use it with the, um, the spend zero dollar and you if you want to use the professionally then you can purchase it from two um, uh, best uh, the buy option then you can see here the comparison for with this free with uh, free via the purchase professional version then you can easily compare which one you want if you want more then you can purchase the professional version uh, i am planning it to buy the uh, buy professional version because the professional version is more much uh, safer than using free version but because of if you uh, use the free version then sometimes it uh, have some bug and then i am going to show you the second option to use the temporary code then uh, no uh, remote support uh, person you want to uh, have uh, so uh, when i'm connect with uh, any viewer with the uh, pc without anyone so just click uh, to open so just click to open sorry i'm closing it so just click to open connect and connect then you can see here um, i am already and drop the uh, partner ID and click the connect after clicking the connect you can input the security code here is the security code I will show you the security code here is the P3D1A3 P3D1A3 so I am here with the right P okay you can see here after clicking uh, the uh, after I am dropping the uh, security code I am connected with the security code uh, if you if you want if you want to um, uh, unattended access, select the unattended access then also you can uh, set your pin as you want here I will show you open the uh, any viewer uh, application here you can see open the any viewer application sorry and setting and personalize your set 
and set my security code here you can set your own security code then I am select TECH tech passport tech passport just I am select the tech passport and then click the save and now I am connect with the security code here I am going to connect So here I'm going to connect and wait a few seconds. So okay, then viewers, you can uh, set up your personalization with this um, application. You can see uh, see here unattended uh, access. Then you can use security code as you want. Then unattended access. You know what is the unattended access with uh, this uh, uh, option. Uh, receptions uh, you can here is the lot of uh, options here control options here security options here and then basic options is here you can rename your pc that's all and if you like my videos then please hit the subscribe button and stay tuned with my channel have a good day thank you very much